I sometimes wish? Yeah! For a big pie the size of a suitcase? Oh, no oh, pie. No. I wish instead of learning inside a dusty old school, we could travel the world, visiting historic sites, natural wonders. Yeah! And the place where the booger monkeys hide before they sneak in at night to fill up your nose. Then again, maybe school's not a bad idea. Guys, wait up! Welcome back, man. Feeling better? Yeah. The cops told Graham Graham if she ever tries cooking for us again, she's going to jail. Oh. pictures while I was recovering. My dad was especially ill. So what I miss in class? Actually, we're doing the digestive system. Friend or foe? <laughs> wow, he runs pretty good for a guy in a wheelchair. What a jerk. Now, now, Ace. It's okay for him to park there. After all, he is handicapped. His car only has two wheels. When you think about it, having a special place to park just because you can't walk, it's pretty funny. I mean, they don't let people with bad taste park closer to the clothing store. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, man. Then the gastric enzymes mix with the mucus, forming a gooey, digestible mass. <gasps> now. Who would like to put their hand in my small intestine? <laughs> ah, yes. The regurgitation reflex. Something I could do. I need something light, something funny. <gasps> you draw stuff? Can I use one of your cartoons? Well, sure, but what does that have to be about? About five by seven. <gasps> this is perfect and funny. You rock! Thanks. Bye. I rock. Family announcement. Graham Graham's second cooking night has been, uh, <clears throat> uh canceled. Boo! And Kate's making dinner. Shouldn't we finish the repairs from Graham Graham's meal before we let Kate experiment on us? Now, Palswick. 
Everyone in this family is an equal member and should have an equal chance to express themselves in the kitchen. Until it's Graham Graham's turn again, then we call the police. It's ready! Texture? Chewy, with an aftertaste like licking a bathtub plug. I got just the thing! You know, I've been studying the digestive tract at school, and I'm really not sure it's up to this. You eat what's in front of you, or there'll be no dessert. And I'm not telling where I hid your computer. You've got mange! Huh? So what else happened today, sport? Not much. Unless you count me getting my first cartoon published in the Alcatraz Bugle Tribune! That's my grandson. That's fabulous. Someone pushed my face into my plate. Hey, you liked my cartoon? Oh, well, thank you. Sure, I'll autograph the cover for you. Ladies, ladies, please, one at a time. Yeah! Ugh, don't do that! You know, you really should be using something with more fluoride and less me. Although, one out of five dentists does recommend me. <laughs> Wait. I know how this guardian angel stuff works. You only show up when something's wrong. You read the handbook. So few people do. Speaking of reading, great school newspaper. Love the article about Vice Principal Ziegler's vacation in Puerto Rico. I am so jealous. Ah! Wait a minute. That doesn't come out till tomorrow. Where'd you get it? From tomorrow. Was just passing through it on the way back to today, and I picked up a copy to read on the astral plane. My favorite part's this cartoon on the cover. <gasps> That's mine! You drew this? I am so impressed. This may be the funniest horse in a wheelchair joke I've seen all year. Could you autograph it for me with your toothbrush? Sure! So, what is wrong? In fact, this cartoon reminds me of the work of Voltaire and Vaslav Havel. Vaslav and Voltaire? Don't they that new rap group from Austria? Your bad, your bad, your big, big, big bad, body, body, big, big bad man. Yeah. Not exactly. Look him up. Gotta go. Left my wallet in next Wednesday. Oh. You know this tastes a lot like your sister's cooking? Wait! I've been on the phone all morning to Crooked Lawyer. They want to see the contract for your cartoony thing. I don't have one. I just handed it to Julie. No contract! I'll call you right back, baby. That means you own it. Oh, we can reprint it on mugs, t-shirts, mouse pads, trumpet player spit hankies, and keep all the bucks for ourselves! Yeah! I'll get on it as soon as I land! I can't wait to see the newspaper. Hey, you ever hear of a guy named Voltaire? Yeah, I think he invented pigs. No, oh, no, wait. Was that Sir Francis Bacon? Actually, Voltaire was a French writer in the late 18th century who... Holy cow! It's a quarter to nine and they're sold out? 
Oh, oh, I'm a hit! Oh yeah, I'm a monster! Oh, I'm a superstar! I I've got, got a butt, a butt, a big, big butt! Big butt, big butt, big butt, big butt, big butt, big butt, big big butt! Julie, did you, uh, save me a copy? There aren't any copies. What do you mean? Because of your cartoon, the newspaper's been banned! But Diddy, but Diddy, but Diddy, but Diddy, but Diddy, but Now, Miss Smockford, I want you to know, ouch, that this isn't an inquisition. This so-called cartoon, ouch, demonstrates a disturbing lack of sensitivity towards our differently abled friends. I was personally offended. I was offended, too. Me, too. Oh, my face almost fell off. I demand to know ow, 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 the name of the insensitive thug who drew this. Before I compromise my journalistic integrity by revealing my sources, I'll perish under the hot, hot, burning, blazing sun. Please don't mention the sun. <sighs> Suspended? What's that mean? She's not allowed to come to school, Goon. Whoa! Way to go! Just because you won't tell him I drew the cartoon? This is bigger than you and me, Palswick. It's bigger than all of us. It's not bigger than Germany. That place is huge, man. I went there one summer with my dad. Die Autobahn, Ein Gross Highway, Von Vroom Vroom. When I signed on as editor, I swore an oath to protect my sources. You are my source. I'm your source? You must promise me you won't tell anyone you drew that cartoon. Not ever, no matter what they do to you. No matter what they do to me. Yo, bro. Heard about that gnarly picture some little brain drew. Sorry, wheelchair dude. Y you got, like, any idea who drew it? I couldn't say right now, but, um, didn't you think it was just a little bit funny, maybe? This is school. There's no place for funny. swept through the area last night, causing millions in property damage and thousands of dollars in hairdo mussing up. On a more serious note, at Alcatraz Junior High, a shocking drawing has teachers and students outraged. Bullies at the school were so upset, weak, skinny kids had to beat themselves up. What a shame. No one got to see your cartoon because of this offensive one. By the way, tonight's Bobby's turn to cook. Do you want some strained beets in a baby bottle? Poor Julie. Suspended for my silence. How ironic. For they will never silence me. Wanna buy some oranges? That's when I realized everyone's offended about something they haven't even seen. Did you check out my advice? What are you doing? It's called butt ball. It's going to be the big sensation a week from Thursday. Want to try it? No. I promised Julie I wouldn't tell who drew it, but I didn't promise I wouldn't show it to other people. When they see how harmless it is, and funny, by the way, they're bound to let her back. To show how sorry I am, I'm going to let you slap my sunburn. But no secondsies. I see now why this goes out of style six weeks from Sunday. Post file to web page. Yes! With any luck, the whole problem's about to go away! What's this? <laughs> that, that, that's really funny! <laughs> oh, look at that horse! <laughs> In three, I I can't two... Believe. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been handed the most disturbing piece of artwork. Viewers who are easily offended by vile, disgusting, poopy doo-doo drawings 
should turn away. <laughs> <coughs> we must find who drew that insulting, offensive cartoon. Call in the federal agents. Ow, ow, ow. And someone find me a really big jar of skin lotion. Be careful, sir. You're the exact color of a doggy beef treat. Oh, dear, yes. <laughs> Arrest anyone who even looks like he has a sense of humor. <laughs> He's got a funny rubber chicken. Grab him! Aren't they the dudes with that hip-hop song, Yo Butt? Look him up. Voltaire. Pretty cool for a dead guy. What's happening? Some knucklehead put your cartoon on the net and it's on, like, TV. It's a well-known fact that 50% of people crack under interrogation and tell everything. Goon just admitted to eating a worm when he was three. Yeah, that's him. No. Oh. Lucky there's nothing connecting you to that drawing, dude. Yeah. Phew. Yes, sure, folks. There's nothing funnier than a horse in a wheelchair. Ha <laughs> ha! Get your horse cartoon mugs, t-shirts, well, because your mouth had wind chimes. You so well, because it on the wind chimes. <laughs> All drawn and copyrighted and owned outright by my grandson, Pelswick Eggert. Okay, you got me. Punish me. Slap the cuff, son. I can take it. Punish you? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow! You aren't being punished. We thought the cartoon was very funny, didn't we? <laughs> as long as a differently abled person drew it, where's the harm? N now let's forget the whole thing. What do you mean, where's the harm? You've got cartoon sniffing dogs out there. And Julie suspended. That's like what they did to Voltaire and Havel. The rappers? Yo, but, yo, but, yo, biggie, biggie, what? What did he, what did he, biggie, biggie, what? I'll have a pair of horse in a wheelchair underwear, please. Oh, wow. And what are those? No, not the rappers. Those German guys who train the tigers? Oh, I love that big snarly lion. Roar! <laughs> no. Two guys who stuck up for their right to say what they believed and went to jail for it. One of them became president of his country, and the other one became... Uh, some French guy. Julie was suspended for printing a cartoon you didn't like. Until you knew I drew it. But now you know. And I'm not being punished. If I'm not, why should Julie be? You're right. That's not fair. It's not right to unfairly punish Julie and not unfairly punish you. You're suspended, too. Huh? Hey! How come I'm not suspended? I wore the hat! I ate the worm, man! Did you ever eat a worm? It's not bad, actually. I recorded this whole ugly incident for the next issue. And this time, I'm putting it on the web where I can't be silenced. <laughs> Since you have a week off school, would you like to come over and work on it? Would I? I mean, uh, yeah, sure. If you want me to, what's our next cover story? 
Publisher suspended. Artist silenced. And synthetic chicken strip searched. Wait! You say hate puts you in there, but love's gonna bust you out? <laughs> Can you draw a chicken? I'm home! For a week! My turn to cook? We've been eating too much heavy food. It's time for exercise! You think that's a crummy fad? Wait till next Friday in the battery-powered faces later. <laughs> <laughs>